Well, we want to welcome you to the broadcast today. It's uh, Tuesday, October the 26th, 2021. And man, it is so good to be back with you today. I appreciate you being so patient uh, last week. And so uh, anyway, uh, my wife and I, uh, more than a week ago, uh, came down with uh, something and both of us were very, very sick for about seven or eight days. And uh, anyway, so COVID negative, praise the Lord for that. At least that's what the test said. And uh, But some severe bronchitis, <coughs> excuse me, and some things. And so as you can see, uh, we're still not 100%. Uh, but listen, but good enough to be on here with you today. And we were good enough, praise God, to be in the house of the Lord on Sunday and we ended up having a <clears throat> just a, a blowout day, a phenomenal day at Calvary Baptist Church with a number of people saved and rededications and just so many great decisions. And the Spirit of God moved in such a great way. And we thank the Lord and praise the Lord for that. And uh, man, we missed you on countdown. And I'm so glad that you hung in there with us. And we're glad to be back on the air today, and thank you for praying for us. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for sharing your love and concern, and we appreciate that from the bottom of our heart. We really do, and uh, we just love this time, just love to to be able to share with the people of God, and um, I told our people on Sunday that we didn't just miss, we missed, and that's how it is. You know, if you go to the right kind of church and you really love God's house, you don't just miss a service. Man, you miss. You miss the family of God. You miss the touch of God. And, and we're so thankful for the live stream, and it's reaching out there, and God's using that, and we're so thankful for that. But I'm telling you, folks, there's nothing like being in the real thing. And, and so we're so thankful that we were able to be back at Calvary Baptist Church this last uh, Sunday, and we're thankful we're able to be with you today. And so here's what we're going to do. We are going to take care of that giveaway that we promoted uh, many days ago. And there were a lot of folk who shared, and we appreciate that. My beautiful little redhead who's probably watching today, we're at the beautiful campus of the Calvary Baptist Church today, and uh, she's away from me right now. But uh, anyway, she got all the names together. She told me, she said, there was a lot. That's what she said. There was a lot of people uh, who shared, and so that's that's incredible, that's wonderful, and we thank the Lord and we praise the Lord for that. So I'll tell you what let's do. Let's go ahead and find out who's aboard, and then after that, we will do the, uh, the giveaway. So text someone, comment, share, share the broadcast. The more you do that, the more it's going to get out there, and we're going to be talking about the home today, and so wow. How many know that our, our homes are in desperate need of a touch from the Lord? And so I want to encourage you to share the broadcast, and that would be a blessing. But let's find out who is on here with us today, and then we'll go a little further. It looks like the hooks are watching. Barry and Christine, man, it was great to have y'all in God's house with us on Sunday. And by the way, we had, uh, I think, 30 visitors, praise the Lord, 30 visitors in the Lord's house with us on Sunday. We thank the Lord for that, and the hooks were part of that. And so, Barry and Christine, good to see you today. Thanks for tuning in today. Miss Karen Hoffman is aboard today. Miss Karen, great to see you on Countdown. Thanks for tuning in today. God bless you. Let me see here. Let me just go through real quick. Uh, Almeida Campbell, she says, hello from Tennessee. Miss Almeida, good to see you watching from Tennessee. I hope you're doing well. I hope you guys have a good time if you're away. And it's great to have you watching today, Miss Almeida. God bless you. Brother Atley's on here with us today. Brother Atley, how are you doing, my friend? Good to see you today. You guys are such an encouragement. And uh, Countdown family, help me welcome Brother Atley Brown on here today. Brother Atley, good to see you. Christine Edwards, and she says, Gary and Christine are watching. Gary, Christine, good to see you guys. Man, alive, we love y'all. And uh, thanks for tuning into the broadcast today. God bless you. Miss Karen says, hey, preacher, so good to have you back. Amen. Miss Karen, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. And uh, we love you, and we're so glad to have you on here today. Brother Abel's watching. Uh, Brother Abel, man, we sure love you. And Miss Lauren, I hope Miss Lauren is feeling better. And uh, man, did a great job on Sunday, Abel. God bless you. Please give Miss Lauren our best and tell her we're thinking about her today. Let's see here. Miss Phyllis Hudson's watching today. Phyllis, I hope you and Jackie are having a great day. 
Thanks for tuning into the broadcast. God bless you. Miss Patsy Bird is aboard. Miss Patsy, great to see you on the broadcast today. Thanks for tuning in. Lord bless you. Uh, Linda Lee is watching. Linda, I hope you and, and the family are having a fantastic day today. And it's so good to see you, Miss Linda. God bless you today. Mr. Silla Mendoza is on here. Hello, Mr. Silla. And I hope you and Brother Martin are having a great day today and the girls. And so good to see you on here, Drusilla. God bless you. Miss Nina Hill. Miss Nina, I hope you're having a great day today. Thanks for tuning in today. Let me see here. I'm just scrolling fast. Y'all give me just a moment. Uh, my little redhead is tuning in today as Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove. <laughs> Amen. And uh, so, hey, uh, we appreciate Miss Tammy being on here with us today. We sure love Miss Tammy. And it's good to see her today. God bless you. She got her names together, and we appreciate Miss Tammy. Miss Carol Adams is watching from down around uh, the Thomasville, Lexington area. Miss Carol, so good to see you on here. Hope you're having a blessed day today. Brother Lee Hoots is watching. Lee, uh, we ran into your wife a little earlier today. She said that you are somewhere, and so wherever you are, it's good to see you watching. Uh, Lee, thanks for tuning in. We sure appreciate you in a big way. Uh, Brother Mike Hill's back on here with us today. Well, folks, Mike's here, so we can get started now. And Brother Mike, good to see you, my friend. Hope you're having a great day today. Let's see here. Caitlin Kaiser's watching. Hello, Miss Caitlin. Uh, she may be watching from work. I'm not sure. But Caitlin, however, it's good to see you on here today. Thanks for tuning in today. God bless you. Uh, Rene, there's Renee Cleary. Hey, Renee, good to see you. And man, it was a blessing to see you in the service on Sunday night and uh, Renee, uh, we're rooting for you. So good to have you on here today. God bless you. Thanks for tuning in. Let me see here. Uh, Tammy Sharp's watching. Miss Tammy, good to see you. Hope you and Brad are having a good day. Missed you on Sunday. And uh, thanks for tuning in, Tammy. Good to see you today. Thanks for, for being here with us. Let me see here. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody. Uh, Timmy Painter's on here. Hello, Timmy. How are you? And uh, it's good to see you watching today. I hope you and Carrie and the family are having a great day today. God bless you. Well, listen, that's a few, and I hope I didn't miss anybody. If I if I missed anybody, I meant to. No, I'm picking. I'm just picking. I didn't mean to miss you. And uh, so, uh, you know, my explanation here. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. I've got six screens, six screens in front of me right now, all right? And uh, so... There's a lot going on here behind the scenes, and so it's very easy for me to miss someone occasionally. And so if I miss you, I don't mean to. And so, Countdown family, if y'all will serve as the hospitality team and help welcome folks aboard as they tune in, uh, we would appreciate that very, very much. Well, let me see if I can take us to the split screen today, uh, if I could. And let me see here. We're going to do go ahead and do the giveaway right now. And so again, thank you for liking and sharing the broadcast. We appreciate that very, very much. Again, the more you do that, more the more it's going to get out. Let me also encourage you to comment. We'd love to recognize you on the air if we're able to do that. And so anyway, without further ado, Miss Tammy's got the little basket here, and we're going to shake these around. And uh, we're just going to reach down in here and pull out a name. And let's see here. The name today is Miss Almeida Campbell. Miss Almeida, you won the uh, store credit today. And so if you'll just drop by, we will put that in your hand and uh, you can get something out of the out of the bookstore and uh, that'll be great. So Countdown family, help me congratulate Miss Almeida today. Congratulations, Miss Almeida. Good to see you on the broadcast today and congratulations for winning and thank you for sharing. And by the way, concerning the bookstore, um, man, I'll tell you what, I'm just super excited about what God's doing in the bookstore. And uh, we're always constantly putting uh, new things in the bookstore. I'm going to be honest with you, church. I just ordered some beauties last night, man. <clears throat> I'm telling you, we have got some things that are, they're treasures. I mean, really, they really are. And so uh, we are putting so many wonderful things. We've got great books uh, on there. We have got, uh, my, my lights just went out in the office here. They're on a timer, but I think we've got enough light here to go. So, but anyway, we've got great books in there. We've got children's books. We have got, um, 
We have got, uh, man, I'm telling you what, you talk about quality Bibles. We have got some quality Bibles uh, that we're putting in the bookstore. So let me encourage you to take advantage of that, and that would be that'd be great. Well, hey, without further ado, uh, go ahead and grab your Bibles, if you will, at this time. And I'm going to grab my outline here, if I could. And I want you to turn over. In fact, let me get there to that screen, if I could. Turn over to John chapter 19. John chapter 19, and I want, to take, I want to take a little time today and the next few days, and I want to talk to you about the home. I want to talk to us a little bit about the home, and specifically three homes that every person ought to have. Three homes that every person ought to have. So John chapter 19 in your Bibles, John chapter 19, and I'm going to read some scripture for you today. It's one of the most beautiful passages of scripture that you'll ever read. So John 19, if you want to flip over there really quick today, John chapter 19. Now we know that John chapter 19 is the story of the crucifixion of Christ. Dr. Tom Williams used to say that if your heart ever gets cold, run, run to John chapter 19. Uh, and, it's, and it's in the gospel of John and chapter 19 that John begins to, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, he begins to portray the beautiful, beautiful story, the wonderful, uh, heart-rending, heartwarming story of the crucifixion of our Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, uh, I'm reading <clears throat> toward the end of that, John chapter 19 and verse number 25. The Bible says, Now there stood by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Cleophas and Mary Magdalene, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then saith he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour that disciple took her unto his own home. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I thirst. Now there was set a vessel full of vinegar, and they filled a sponge with vinegar and put it upon hyssop, and put it to his mouth. When Jesus therefore had received the vinegar, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up the ghost. Now this is, uh, of course, the last few moments before our Lord dies on the cross of Calvary. Now I want us to, and I, I'm going to point out just a few things. We're not going to really get into the points today, but I want to just lay the foundation today for this lesson this week, if I could. And so here, the Lord Jesus Christ is, and he's literally not only hanging on the cross of Calvary, but at this point, he's bearing, he's bearing the entire load of the sins of mankind. My sin is upon the Savior. Your sin is upon the Savior. And here he is. Uh, God, the Father, has poured the sins of mankind upon the precious and innocent, and by the way, sinless body of his only son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we notice here that as he's bearing the sins of the world, well, this is the part I want you to notice. We notice that he is concerned that his mother have a home. Did y'all see that? He's concerned that Mary have a home. He looks down as he's hanging on the cross. He sees John, the apostle there, John, the disciple, the disciple whom he loved. And then he sees standing beside John, he sees Mary, his mother. And so before he dies, before he takes his last breath, he says to John, John, behold your mother. And he says to Mary, behold your son. In other words, John, I want you to take mom home and I want you to care for her the rest of her days. And mom, this is now going to be your son that's going to look after you and take care of you now. What a beautiful, beautiful portion of Scripture. And so the Lord Jesus Christ, again, with all that's going on, the Lord Jesus Christ is burdened that his mother have a home, a place that she's going to be cared for the rest of her life. So in a way, in a way, you could say this, that the last Thoughts. Now, boy, this is beautiful. The last thoughts on the mind of Jesus Christ before he died was, in fact, the home. The home. I love that. Now, we also know something else. We know, according to Scripture, that the Lord Jesus Christ was involved in creation. 
Uh, don't forget that the Lord Jesus Christ didn't just come into existence uh, in the little town of Bethlehem. Jesus has always been. There's never been a time when Jesus wasn't. It's always been God the Father, God the Son, God the Spirit. In John chapter 1, I've got it on your screen here. John chapter 1, verses 1 through 3 tells us that the Lord Jesus Christ was very much a part of creation. Uh, let me read it for you if I could. John 1, verse 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was was God. The same, <coughs> the same was in the beginning with God. All things, listen to this, all things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. So the Lord Jesus Christ was there at the beginning when creation was in full swing. What's really interesting about that is, is that as we see the first works of Christ in creation, we notice that almost immediately the Lord Jesus was involved with the home. Uh, as the world is just getting started, Christ is involved in the home. Now, I want to point out a few things to you today, if I could. Number one, I've got it on your screen here. Christ built the home for the family. Now, let me give you the reference, if I could. Genesis chapter 2, verse number 8. Again, notice here, somebody says, Preacher, which came first, the chicken or the egg? Well, uh, let me sort of put my... Uh, my uh, slant on that, if I could. Christ built the home for the family. Genesis chapter 2, verse number 8, the Bible says, And the Lord God planted a garden eastward in Eden, and there he put the man whom he had formed. So the Lord Jesus Christ made the home for the family. We find that in Genesis chapter 2 and verse number 8. And then next we find this, that Christ built the family for the the home. Now, let me give you the reference for, for that, if I could. Genesis chapter 2, verses 21 through 22, the Bible says, And the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam, and he slept, and he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman and brought her unto the man. So the Lord makes the home, and then God, after he has built the home, God builds the family and puts the family into the home. Now, again, as we go back to John chapter 19, we're sort of full circle. And so the Lord Jesus Christ is very present right here in creation, and he's very much involved in the home. And then when we get to John chapter 19, and we see a very special story of the last few moments of our Savior, once again, guess what? He's involved in the home. And you know what that makes me believe? That makes me believe that the home is very close to the heart of the Lord Jesus Christ. And of course, we know it is. Christ is very concerned about your home. He's concerned about my home. He's concerned about your family. Now, with all the families in the world, the Lord Jesus Christ is very passionate about your home and he's very passionate about your family. Um, I love this. George Moore said this. He said, a man travels the world over in search of what he needs and returns home to find it. How true that is. I love what I'm getting ready to give you here. Martin Luther, Martin Luther said this, let the wife make the husband glad to come home and let him make her sorry to see him leave. Well, that's worth rewinding. Amen. Let me say it again. Can I do that again? Uh, let the wife make the husband glad to come home and let him, the husband, make her sorry to see him leave. Well, here's what we're going to do, Lord willing. We're going to take a little time and we're going to talk about the home this week and specifically three homes that every person ought to have. And so I hope that you'll be a part of Hope you'll be a part of the broadcast. Well, let me do this if I could today. I want to put some numbers on your screen. It's our prayer helpline number, 704-327-5662. And if you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, I want to encourage you to call us. And if no one answers immediately, be sure you leave a callback number and we would love to call you. If you don't know Christ, please call us. We had several people saved on Sunday. What a joy that was. 
and we would love to share Christ with you and how you can know you're going to be in heaven one day. And then if you're watching this broadcast today and you've got a heavy, heavy burden, it feels like your heart weighs 10,000 pounds. Boy, how many know sometimes it just helps to have someone walk through that valley with you? If you'll call that number, myself or one of our wonderful prayer helpline workers would love to call you back and pray with you and reach out to the Lord with you. So again, call that number, 704 327 5662. If nobody answers, if you can't get through for some reason, then call that second number, 704 539 5340. Countdown family, don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time, aren't they? Hey, we love you. Man, it's good to be, it's good to be back. It's good to be back in the saddle again. And uh, Lord willing, if uh, you pray, if, if you'll pray and pray for our voice and our and uh, health and all of those things, Lord willing, we'll be back on the broadcast again tomorrow at three o'clock. And so let me encourage you, like and share, send this out there. I know this, I do know this, there's a lot of folk that need to hear some good godly counsel on the home. And so I hope that you'll share the broadcast. Countdown family, we love you. I hope you have a great rest of the day. God bless.